All right, here's a Lady Antebellum's American Honey. On my, my previous video, I, I showed you how to play the song in standard tuning, down a half step. Now I'm going to show you how to play it in the tuning that they played in themselves, which is called Dad Gad and down a half step. So what that means is, first of all, you tune all the strings down a half step. And then from there, you tune the bottom E down another whole step. So in other words, your second string is tuned down to A flat, your third string is tuned down to D flat. Okay, so the th D flat is also what you're gonna tune the bottom E string to. Those two strings are gonna be the same pitch. So we're gonna have D flat, A flat, D flat again, then G, but it's gonna be down to G flat, okay? Then your B string is tuned down to B flat and then now down another whole step. So it's going to match your second lowest string, A flat. Okay, and then the high E string is going to be tuned down a half step to E flat and then another whole step to D flat. So it's going to match the bottom E string or the lowest string D flat, the third string D flat, the high string is the same pitch D flat. Okay. Remember, you can rewind this, go back over it as many times as you need to, make sure you have the right tuning. Open, it should sound like this. Okay, so let's start with the intro. What happens in the intro is, the first thing you hear is harmonics. So he plays, he goes to the 12th fret on every string and lays any finger you want, just, just barely, rest it against the actual fret, the metal right after the two dots, the metal fret. Lay your finger on it and strum all the strings. That's the noise you hear. It isn't, you're not pushing all the strings down, you're just barely, this is how lightly you're resting them. I can just barely touch them with my pinky and you get the same thing. There should be no effort involved. Okay, so you hear that, and then you hear this. On the D string, excuse me, on the G string, you're going to start with your index finger, as a suggestion, on the 7th fret, then ring finger 9th fret, and then slide that up two more frets to the 11th fret. So, and then what you do is, you can pretty much add any of the other strings at the same time because it's just going to make a chord anyway. So it doesn't matter if you hit any of the stray strings. Okay, and then on the final one you strum them all. And then back down with whatever fingers you want. Okay, now there are only five chords that you need to play the entire song. I'll show you all five chords now, and then I'll go through and explain where they come in. So, the first chord is purely the D, well, in this case we'll call it D chord. Uh, it's really a D flat chord, but we're going to call it D. Uh, the only thing you're going to do is your index finger, second fret on the G string and all the rest of the strings open. Okay, so for every chord that we play, the two high strings are going to ring open. So there's the first one, D, we'll call that D. Okay, we'll call this one B minor, for the sake of argument. What you're going to do is your ring finger on the low E string, 9th fret, okay, then you're going to rest that, you're going to lean it back slightly, like we do in a lot of my videos, to mute the A string. You're just leaning it back slightly so that the flesh on the back of your finger 
mutes the D or the A string. Okay, the D is open. Seventh fret on the G string with your index finger, and then top two strings open. So we have mute open. Okay. Then the next chord we're going to do, uh, we're going to call it G, and that is middle finger, fifth fret on the low E string. Okay. Then the same thing, you're going to lean that finger back to mute the A string, fifth fret with your ring finger on the D string, fourth fret with your index finger on the G string, top two strings open. So we have. And if you want, you can actually leave your ring finger off of that one and just play the D open. That's up to you. Okay. And then the next chord we're going to do is uh, an A chord. So we're going to go the seventh fret. We're going to use the same exact fingering. You're just going to move it up two frets. Okay. So now we have middle finger on the seventh fret on the low E string, muting the A string with that finger, ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string, index finger on the sixth fret of the G string, top two strings open. Okay, and then the final chord, we're gonna slide all the way down and you're gonna have your middle finger on the low E string second fret, Mute the A string with that finger, ring finger, second fret on the D string, and then the top three are all open. So we have. Okay, so here's the verse. Each verse is the same. I'll uh, play it for you once and then go through it. 